For the next test, the low-speed shaft was disconnected from the gearbox and electric motor. This was done to see if there was a difference in acceleration, if the gearbox and electric motor were not adding friction to the lift in a reverse situation. The control panel for this lift has two stop buttons. Inadvertently, the normal stop button was depressed instead of the one controlling the bow wheel brake. This resulted in an uncontrolled reverse rotation of the lift with fully loaded chairs on the heavy side. The lift stopped from chairs getting caught in the machinery and other external friction forces. After the lift rolled to a stop, the scenes were devastating. The guide work at the terminals had been bent, as if made out of rubber. Concrete blocks had been hurled up to 120 feet through the air, and shiv trains had been bent and some pulled off the cross arms. Chairs had been thrown everywhere, and chair stems had been broken in half and bent like pretzels. Clips had been dragged backwards through the haul rope, and one shiv wheel axle failed catastrophically. At the top, the scenes were very similar. something like this is potential, so then you're saying, well, this is it, I'm going to watch it and soak in as much as I can. <laughs> After this event, it was wondered if the test could continue, but through the hard work of the Winter Park lift mechanics, the lift was ready to run the next morning.